Good evening and welcome to Jim Monley's World of Weather. He clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for September 15th to the 27th. The pattern for September 15th to the 19th is forecast to consist of a trough up the west coast. See our trough here. And a trough also over the east. And a ridge in between we have here across the Rockies and the Central Plains. During this period, rainfall is, is, is forecast across several places. One is along a polar front across the northern tier states. More significantly uh, will be the rainfall across south Texas where moisture will circulate around the western periphery of the subtropical ridge. And Tropical Storm invests AL93 over the southern bay of Campeche is expected to slowly rotate west northwestward into the east coast of Mexico, spreading heavy rain into the coastline. The east to southeast flow to the north of the system is expected to enhance rainfall along the south Texas coast with some guidance showing more than 10 inches in some locations. The trough setting up near the west coast will, will uh, allow for some cooler air into the west with periods of rain extending from the northwest into the northern Rockies. The high temperatures in the west forecast to slide, excuse me, the heat, the hot temperatures in the west are forecast to slide over the northwest and northern Rockies. The east will experience below normal temperatures. Now we're going to look at the period for September 18th to 22nd, and the ensembles forecast an amplified trough near the west coast and a ridge extending from the northwest to the Great Lakes for September 18th to 22nd. The ensembles have a trough in the east and has changed from yesterday where they were forecasting a ridge over the east. So during this forecast period, forecasting below normal temperatures here and above normal temperatures across this region. For precipitation, above normal precipitation is here, here, and below normal precipitation is forecast across this area. Now um, we're going to look at the um, the temperature forecasts from the GFS for North America. As you can see here, we have a below normal temperatures across this area and above normal across um, much of West Central Canada and the Northwest and near normal elsewhere. So we're going to go to day uh, day two still. And the heat might be starting to decrease by day three. Still cool in the east. Go to day four. Now, now we have some cooler air starting to move in, and still cool in the in the east. We go to day five. We see the cooler air starting to filter in, and go to day six, and then we see where we have our ridge here across on um, the central U.S. and we have a trough here and a trough here and it's still um, it looks like it starts really amplifying by day six so now we're going to look at the period for that's the wrong map for September 23rd to 27th and the sums indicate little change in the 500 millibar circulation for September 23rd to 27th the GFS is in turmoil in the east. The last four runs of the GFS either depicts a ridge and a trough in the east. The most other models forecast near to above normal temperatures over the east central U.S. I took a look at the NAEFS and also the climate forecast system and they all show the same thing. So during this forecast period we're calling for below normal temperatures for the west coast, above normal temperatures here, for precipitation, forecasting above normal precipitation here and here, and below normal precipitation across this region. Now, as we go to this period, we're going to go back to this um, forecast model. This is on day 14, and this is uh, September 26th. And look what it shows, it's cool across much of this area. This is what the GFS is showing. That's why it's been out of place, shown cold, especially here across parts of the Appalachians. 
so we have to wait and see if that verifies but right now um, the other models are going against that so that is a long range weather forecast discussion for September 15th to 27th thank you for coming to Jim Mullins World Weather and have a good day